If you've never installed a torsion bar, it's pretty straightforward. This is the cross frame that the transmission mount bolts to and there's a hex hole here that the uh, torsion bar actually goes through. So you're going to just insert it here. And we're going to go around to the front. And this is a good point to uh, put your boot on. This is always fun because the rubber doesn't like to stretch over the torsion bar. <sighs> Try to get some screwdrivers or something. Well, I'm glad I had, I was recording that when it happened. That was freaking ridiculous. All right, so I need All right, you can see the torsion bar in there. This little clip is what holds it all together. See that groove right there? That's where it's gotta go. Okay, so it's in there, it's secure. And it will never fall out. I'm going to put the passenger side torsion bar in now. This ought to be interesting. I do have TTI headers on this car. I bought them a really long time ago though, so I have confidence they're going to fit. And this is a 383, so it's a low deck, so the header is going to be lower than it was on the 440 I put into the 68 Charger, which I had a ton of issues with. So, uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes, but I'm I think it'll be okay. Um, so yeah, let's get after it. So the driver's side torsion bar went in with no issues. Um, that one was powder coated. I was a little concerned that the torsion bar wouldn't fit because it's powder coated. But it went in on that side, no problem. But this side, the passenger side, not so easy. So I think when they sprayed this one, they just put a lot more powder coat on it than they did the other side. So I'm gonna go in here and kiss these off with the grinder and uh, make it, you know, get a little more clearance in there so that it goes through the frame of the car and into the lower control arm. I don't have a lot of faith that the wire wheel is going to work, but because powder coat is so tough, but we'll give it a try.
right, that's the way to go. <sighs> Holy shit. So this is my idea to make a boot installer. Um, I got an old torsion bar here. I believe it's an A-body one. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut it off because I can't get the boot over the hex end. So I figure I'll cut it off and then grind it into a point and then shove the boot on this way and then butt this up against the other torsion bar and hopefully it'll transfer over. Well, see what happens. See if this works. Well, shit, that was freaking easy. That went on pretty easy. Now I'm gonna have to get it up over here just to the edge. It's about to fall off. Um, let me get some grease. That just might work, guys. Here we go. Bam! <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I surprise myself. That's a lifer tool right there. I'll go ahead and put a little spray paint on the end so it doesn't rust, and then I'm throwing that in the toolbox. Freaking A. Check this out real quick. Miles of clearance between the torsion bar and the headers. Granted, this is a low deck versus a 440, but honestly, I think if I had these headers on the 68 Charger, I think we would have cleared a lot easier. So, that's yeah, just too bad. That was a pain in the ass, but I'm happy everything clears here. <laughs> I'll deal with that again. camera's a little close but hopefully you can see this basically I packed a bunch of grease inside of there and now you can see this lip right here you're gonna push the boot till it pops over that lip and that's it that's done now all we have to do is put the clip in the back and the torsion bar is finished okay so you can see how it's not quite in there yet but we're in the hole 
Oh. All right, where's the groove? It's back a little bit. clips in the groove so I know that clip doesn't seem very strong but all it has to do is keep that torsion bar from falling out this way towards the rear and uh, we're good and that's what it's designed to do and I've never had one fall out so torsion bar is finished all right so I'm just packing the boot full of grease Push it up here, it pops over that lip, the cross member, and we are now done with the torsion bars on both sides. Alright, so just a little quick update on the duster. Um, so I had ordered the trans mount and a drive shaft loop, still wasn't getting here. Uh, long story short, just realized that it Mancini Racing sent me some update emails like additional cost for shipping or crating um, that I didn't see. So make sure if you order for anything from Mancini Racing, you look in your emails because there might be some additional costs they're passing on to you that you have to pay before they ship it. So it turns out, you know, my stuff was ready to go. It's just I didn't pay the extra shipping because I didn't see the email. Anyway, got that taken care of and like that night they're like, all right, stuff's on its way. So that's cool. So I should be getting that pretty soon. Uh, second thing is, if you've been making comments and stuff and I didn't respond to it, there's a good chance I didn't see it. So um, long story short, through regular my regular notifications on YouTube, you know, it's mixed with if you guys make comments or on my videos or somebody else makes comments on a video I make comments on or I just follow somebody, it could easily fall, you know, through the fray and I don't see it. I just noticed on my YouTube studio app that I can see there's like a section for comments. So I just noticed a bunch of video or comments that I hadn't seen. I responded to most of them, hopefully all of them. Um, long story short, if you make a secondary comment there, there's a good chance I may not see it because I'll only see it on the normal YouTube stuff where there's, you know, lots of notifications. So uh, pretty soon I'm gonna start posting my email so if there's uh you know if you don't get a response through the comments in the videos you can email me but i'm still cleaning it up so i don't want to put it out there just yet it's just too noisy and i'll easily miss stuff so anyway hope you enjoyed the torsion portion of the little mini series of front suspensions on mopars and uh i'll be doing the spindles next and i of course i ran into a freaking problem so uh We'll see how I get through it. All right, guys, we'll see you later.